Today I have a really interesting one for you guys. I wanted to talk a little bit about behind YouTube and the things you need to know for the business end of YouTube for any of you guys that might be interested in actually pursuing YouTube as more of a serious thing and more of an actual career because there is a lot of money to be made on YouTube but I think often it's misinterpreted as to how that money is being made and some of the things that you can do for your channel and your own personal brand to increase the revenue and ways to monetize all of your content. Today's video is sponsored by Zyro. They are an online website builder that makes it super, super easy for anyone to build a professional website within like minutes or hours. Super, super easy and we're gonna speak a little bit more about them later on in this video. I also wanna share with you guys a little bit later on in the video the actual figures as to where my money is coming from as a content creator because I'm sure a lot of you guys are aware that the actual YouTube ad revenue is not normally the majority of the monetization for content creators. And I'm gonna tell you guys the little breakdown of that in a while. First thing that I wanted to cover was the different types of YouTube channels or styles of content, in my opinion, that exist on YouTube so that you can help categorize your own content into one of these three categories so you can make sure that you are putting out the correct content for your channel. In my opinion, there are only really three types being education, entertainment, or shock value. You can have a hybrid of two or all of these different topics, but I feel every single piece of content on YouTube fits into one of those things. So a lot of my contents on this channel, for example, something like this fits into education and some of the other videos that I do like filmmaking tutorials out in the world could be a hybrid of education as well as entertainment because we're showing you guys the videos and showing you the different types of things that we're doing out there. So. Other things for shock value, for example, might be something like a Mr. Beast video, as I'm sure you guys have seen, and that's because it's these crazy off over the top things, something not normal, something that's gonna be shocking for the viewer to watch. Understanding which one of those three categories your content fits into, I feel is the first thing you guys should be doing when you are figuring out your YouTube channel. <laughs> Segwaying nicely into the second thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is picking some sort of content that you can monetize nicely, but that you are still very passionate about. Not everything can be monetized as easily as other things, but it is important to put your passion first because if you are really smart about it, you can, for the most part, monetize anything. Your monetization is gonna be broken up into a lot of different ways and different things that you can do to help you increase all of your revenue streams as a creator, because especially when starting out, it can be pretty tricky to get enough money from YouTube alone to survive and give you the free time to continue pursuing YouTube. For example, having something like my channel, it creates a lot of opportunity for me to work with brands that are doing filmmaking stuff, like filmmaking gear or any other accessories, as well as any sort of other brands that you might need as a content creator because that's what I'm kind of educating you guys about so it organically fits into my channel and it's not just like an advert that I'm trying to sell you guys on something. I can just tell you about the products that I actually use myself as a content creator. And that creates a lot of opportunity for me to work with brands. Now, brand deals are definitely not the only option for monetizing your content on YouTube and some other channels, maybe something with a much higher CPM rate. CPM is cost per milli, it's the amount of dollars you get per thousand views on YouTube. Could be generating a majority share of revenue from the actual YouTube ad revenue itself. And now that isn't the case for everyone and it's hard to kind of figure out what your channel's CPM is gonna be. You can't control it. YouTube just sort of decides that for you. But there are a couple of topics that are gonna have a general higher CPM. Like we mentioned, financial channels, whereas more entertainment channels are not gonna have such a high CPM value. So let's actually look at some of my numbers and where my monetization is coming from on YouTube and show you guys a bit of a breakdown. Just before we do that, I wanna to talk to you about Zyro. They are an online 
online website builder that makes it super, super easy for anyone to create an amazing website. I have created a website as a content creator myself and you guys can go and check it out. It's gonna be linked in the top of the description. I also thought it would be really, really fun to give you guys the chance to send through any of the websites that you guys create and I can have a look at them and if I really like some of them, I can share them on my channel and actually show them to all of my viewers in hopes that they can go and check out your work. Maybe you can gain some more clients or people that might want you to do any sort of content creation for them if you guys have that really nice professional website set up. And for that reason, I think as a content creator, it's really important to have a professional website set up outside of something like YouTube or Instagram so that you can direct people there like clients to have a dedicated portfolio so you can pitch them and propose any projects that you might wanna be doing for them. If I just have this YouTube channel, I might not wanna just send my channel to a potential client or some brand that might wanna work with me because it might not be the exact work that I wanna to show to them. By having a website, I can curate it to have the best of the best and only the stuff that I really wanna put out and make sure that I can generate more of from that initial content. Zyro hooked us up with an awesome deal and you guys can get three months completely free with any yearly plan. All you gotta do is use code Sean or click the link in the description. And if you guys do create a website and you think it's cool, please send it through to me. The email that you guys can send it to will also be found in the description. I'm looking really forward to seeing some of your guys' websites that you create. So let's actually look at my figures. Now, first off, I'm just gonna straight off the bat, YouTube ad revenue accounts for about 10% of my actual revenue that I make from doing these YouTube videos. And I think you'll find that is gonna be the same with a lot of content creators on the platform. For sure, like we mentioned, there's gonna be some people that make a much higher ratio of monetization from their YouTube ad revenue alone, financial channels or any other channels that might generate a much higher CPM than the general channel. But for me, it only accounts for about 10%. The next thing is gonna be affiliate marketing. And this is basically if you guys take any links for something you might recommend. When people go and purchase something or sign up for that thing that you're recommending, you get a small cut back on that. Maybe something like 1%, maybe sometimes it's as much as 10%. But if you can get a lot of people to buy those products, you can generate a bit of income from that. And mine, like I said, is also about 10%. The next Next thing is having a product. And this can go hand in hand with the website that you guys build. For example, I sell LUTs for color grading your videos and I also sell Lightroom presets for grading your photos. You can suit this to whatever your content is gonna be. Obviously, I'm a content creator, so it makes sense that I can sell LUTs and presets and things like filmmaking courses, but maybe you have a guitar channel where you teach people how to play guitar. Maybe you could sell a learning how to play guitar course or you could sell different like sheets of music that could help people learn how to play certain songs. I have no idea about guitar, I don't know if that makes sense. But you have to curate your different products for whatever your audience is gonna be into and what your brand image actually is. Overall, products account for about 20% of my overall monetization streams and it's really nice because it's also quite a passive one where you don't have to promote it the whole time. You don't have to do any work to keep those products going. Once you've created them, they sort of can just sit there and keep generating money for you as a creator without putting any more work in. The fourth and final way that I make money on YouTube is by doing brand deals. And this is anything where you see me integrating products or things that I use on my channel to you guys, the viewers, and then those brands can pay me to put those things into my videos. It's really important in my opinion to to be wise with who you work with. You don't wanna work with just anyone that offers you money or that's interested in putting their products onto your channel. In my opinion, it really needs to be genuine. It needs to be something that you actually believe in, something that you might already use because it's not gonna go well if you just kind of recommend things that you don't actually see the value in. So for example, with Zyro, the website builder that we are doing a brand video for today in this actual video, I completely use that website. I've built my portfolio on there. And if I'm gonna work with any clients, I'll send them that website in hopes of landing that deal. So. It's really, really important, and I can't stress that enough, that you need to be authentic and organically place things into your channel. Don't just throw things in that don't make sense. I get offers 
multiple times a day from companies that I turn down and I take a very, very small portion of the companies that actually wanna work with me and end up making a video about it. So brand deals being the majority end up being 40% of my overall income and I think that will be the case for most creators. That's gonna be it for this one. I hope you found some of these things useful and maybe it will help you kind of plan your channel and how you actually gonna monetize it so you can allow yourself to do YouTube full time. Maybe you're already doing it, but this can help you streamline it and maximize the revenue that you guys can make instead of leaving any money on the table. Remember to go check out Zyro. They are gonna be linked in the top of the description. I look forward to seeing you guys' websites that you build. You can find the email down there and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.